Alright, so if you guys haven't heard already, Wuhujun lied. To sum it up simply, he never actually hit Radiant, let alone 723 RR. His friend boosted the account to Radiant, and a bet they made long before Wuhujun coaching existed. I know I normally make teaching videos, but this really got my attention and I wanted to make a video on it. Before I get into the Reddit post, I just want to say I've played several matches in Immortal with both Wuhujin and JG. From my experience with them, they are both very positive people and enjoyable to be around. I by no means hold any personal grudges against them, but what has been done affects the community as a whole and needs to be addressed. All credit to this guy, I'm not sure if he did all the research, but at the very least, put it all into one easy spot to read. Definitely give him some love for all the hard work, credit to him. I will link the Reddit post in the description if you guys want a more in-depth look. I'll just be covering the gist of it to catch you guys up. He says, hello everyone, it has come to my attention that there are allegations that my account Wuhujin coach was boosted or bought and how that undermines my integrity as a Valorant coach. I want to briefly address the situation, but will do so more fully on stream. My main account is an account that I shared with JG. We made a deal, if I could coach him to Radiant, he would boost an account to get me the Radiant buddy. It was cringe. This all happened in June and July of 2021. At the time, I had no intentions of becoming a content creator and certainly had no idea that my dumb coaching plan would end up where I am today. At the time, I was not as firmly set in the anti-smurfing position I advocate for today. I have been very vocal about my past involving smurfing and boosting in League. I am getting on a plane and will be traveling until the end of VCT Madrid and don't want to let this sit and gain traction without some form of acknowledgement. I will address this more fully on stream tomorrow. And basically the picture just says top 100 next act. If I coach you to Radiant level by the way, you are legally required to boost one of my accounts to Radiant for the gun buddy. I will not give him any credit for this action. Coming out after you've been exposed is not an act of courtesy. This should have been mentioned long before. I will keep this short, but after getting insta banned from the Discord, I thought I'd post a post would be fitting. Wuhujin was given this account by streamer JG, who up until after this point, he hit Radiant, was used by JG as his main. Wuhujin never publicly hit Radiant, yet he lies that this was his account. Any discussion of this will get you banned in his Discord. And then he posts the tracker of the first match. Um, I'm not going to open it up, but basically it just shows um, the matches he's showing here linking the accounts together um, the second piece of evidence is valorant leaderboard you can look at wuhujin's profile see he peaked 317 rr before he hit radiant and if you go to the spot on the leaderboards it looks like jg and then if you go in his career you can inspect the matches he says it's it is clear why he did this marketing yourself as a radiant coach would make your services more appealing you may argue that his services are free but it doesn't subtract from the fact that his community has been lied to on a daily basis. He is not the player he claims to be. I think transparency is important, which is why I created this post. I have no ulterior motive. I just do not like the lack of honesty. There is more evidence. Like for example, his account main duelist with a 1KD during the period where he was 723RR Radiant. And immediately after that point, which is when JG transferred the account to him, he played controller and sunk into Immortal with objectively bad stats. No Radiant who has played every single day since that point would struggle to play Duelist and Ascendant lobbies. It is simply ridiculous. The last thing I want to bring to attention is JG's Twitter. Just look at his bio. 723RR, it's the same as Wuhujin peaked on his account. So yeah, apparently you can confirm it all, go in the tracker, go in the client, and you can just check it all, and people are pretty upset. So yeah, just wanted to bring that to light. You guys should check it out for yourselves. Um, just pretty crazy stuff. 